All right, let's go a little bit further into inverses now. And keep in mind, as with any operations, if you can go forward, you should be able to also go backwards. Well, you know, the same thing happens with functions. Let's talk about review here. How do we know something is a function? Do you remember there was a test that we used that said that um, there was a line we could draw and if it hit it in one spot only then we knew it was a function. Do you remember that was called the vertical line test? Okay. Well, what do you think backwards of that or the opposite of that would be? The horizontal line test. Absolutely. Well, we have a theorem that says if every horizontal line intersects the graph of a function in at most one point, then f is called a one-to-one -one function. So, in order for us to have a one-to-one -one function, first of all, it has to pass the vertical line test or it's not a function at all but it also has to pass the horizontal line test, meaning that any horizontal line that we were to draw through the graph would only hit it in one spot. If that is true, then we call the function one-to-one. -one. And that's really important because as we're going to see in a little while, only one-to-one -one functions are capable of having inverses. Now, we have this sort of definition here that says a function is one-to-one -one if any two different inputs in the domain correspond to two different outputs in the range. Basically, this is, well, this is the definition of what it means to be one-to-one. -one. But we can think of it a little bit easier terms also. Basically, this says that every x value can only have one y value. And then likewise, every y value can only have one x value. This must be a perfectly monogamous type relationship between x's and y's. They can only have one pairing and that's all. Let's look at some examples here. Here we have three different functions. Each one of these passes the vertical line test so we know that they are functions but we're trying to see if they are one-to-one -one functions. So we're also going to be using the horizontal line test. I could pass a horizontal line anywhere I wanted to on this first one and it's only going to hit in one spot each time. That means that this is a one-to-one -one function. Okay, what about the next one? It passed the vertical line test so it is a function but if I were to pass a, a horizontal line through here, I'm actually going to hit it in two spots. That means this is not a one-to-one um, -a -one function. It also means it's not capable of having an inverse because this y value actually has two different x values and that's not allowed. Okay, this third one here, again, it passed the vertical line test, so we know it is a function. But if I pass a horizontal line through here, it actually hits it in every single point. So again, this is not a one-to-one -one function. Every single x value in this function has the exact same y, and that's not allowed.